Hi, everybody. How are you doing? If you're new here, I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button and the bell down below to not miss a single one of our new lessons. And don't forget, if you like this lesson, please show us some support by hitting that like button. Also, take your fluency to the next level with our lessons. Lesson 15. Holidays have started. All the students. Tuesday evening, December 21st. Pedro. Well, no more lessons now until after Christmas. It's nice to think that holidays have started. This time on Friday I shall be flying to Spain. I shall be just about leaving the French coast and getting over the Bay of Biscay. What will you be doing, Lucille? Lucille, let me see. It's 7 o'clock now. Yes, at 7 o'clock tomorrow I shall be going to a party at a friend's house in Canterbury. Olaf, are you going by car? Lucille, yes, but I shan't be driving. A friend of mine will be taking me in his car. Olaf, and I shall be packing my luggage, and if it is like my usual packing, I shall be trying to get too many things into too little space. What will you be doing this time on Friday, Hob? Hob. I shall be wondering what I am going to get for my supper. Jan. I am going to Switzerland to spend Christmas with Frida's family. She has just had a letter from her mother and father inviting me to stay with them. They say that they will all be waiting at the station on Christmas Eve to welcome us. Lucille. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm so glad you're getting a holiday. You will be looking forward to it, I know. Jan. I am, very much. Frida. So am I. I shall be thinking about that homecoming all the way to Switzerland. Olaf. I hope you won't be feeling too tired after your journey to enjoy the welcome. Frida. I shall be feeling too excited to be tired. I know mother will be cooking and baking now as hard as she can go. Ruth and Gretchen will be cleaning and dusting the rooms, though I am sure the rooms don't need it. The boys will be gathering wood for the fire, and father will be looking for a Christmas tree. Lucille. And what will little Fritz be doing? Frida. If I know little Fritz, he will be getting in everybody's way as he generally does when they are all busy. Hob. Have none of you thought that this time next month we shall all be coming back here, and Mr. Priestley will be waiting for us with more grammar. Lucille. Oh, Hob, don't be so pessimistic, it's not like you. Hob. That reminds me of something. Do you know the difference between a pessimist and an optimist? Lucille. All right. If it will make you any happier, tell us. Hob. Well, an optimist is a man who says the bottle is half full, and a pessimist is a man who says the bottle is half empty. Olaf. Oh. I had heard that a pessimist was a man who wore braces, and a belt. What will you be doing for Christmas, Hob? Hob. I shall be going to Uncle Albert's for Christmas, and what a time it will be. There is no one who keeps Christmas better than Uncle Albert. All the holiday I shall be having the time of my life. I shall be telling you all about it when we meet again. Frida. Well, on Thursday morning I shall be starting on my journey to Switzerland with Jan. Olaf. What time does the train go? Frida. 9.5 from Victoria Station. Olaf. I'll come and see you off. Pedro and Lucille, so will I hob. Well, I can't promise to be at Victoria Station by 9 o'clock in the morning, it means getting up at half past 7. That's practically the middle of the night. I don't know what the speed of light is, I only know that it comes too quickly in the morning for me. But if I wake up in time, well, 
I shall be thinking about you. Lucille. Oh, Hob, make an effort for once. Hob. All right, I'll be there, but you'll realize what an effort I shall be making when I tell you what one of my favorite poems is. Lucille. Oh, what is it? Hob. This is it. There aren't many things upon this earth that make it seem like heaven. But one is to wake at half past six, when you thought it was half past seven. Olaf. Good old Hob. Exercises. Exercise 1. Fill in the words omitted. 1. This time on Friday I be flying to Spain. 2. What, you be doing, Lucille? 3. I shall be, to a dance. 4. I, be driving because a friend of, is taking me in his car. 5. I, be trying to get too many things into too little. 6. They say that they, all be waiting at the station on Christmas. 7. I hope you, be looking, to the holiday. 8. I hope you, be feeling too tired. 9. The boys beep wood for the fire. 10. I'll come to the station and see. Exercise 2. Use the following words in sentences of your own. Start. Welcome. Belt. Coast. Enjoy. Effort. Pack. Gather. Tired. Spend. Optimist. Remind. Exercise 3. Use the following phrases in sentences. 1. This time next week. 2. A friend of mine. 3. Too much. 4. Too little. 5. Looking forward. 6. Get in everybody's way. 7. For once. 8. What a time. 9. The time of my life. 10. See someone off. Exercise 4. How did Hob explain the meaning of a optimist be pessimist? How did Olaf explain pessimist? Exercise 5. Give in your own words Hobbes' poem, or learn it by heart. Dictation. Lessons are finished and the holidays have started. Pedro will fly to Spain, and Lucille is going to a dance. Jan has had a letter from Frida's mother inviting him to spend Christmas with him in Switzerland. He is looking forward to it very much. Frida is excited about going home, and is glad that Jan is coming too. Only Hob is pessimistic. He reminds them that they will be back at work in a month. But then he remembers a funny story about an optimist and a pessimist. And then he remembers he is going to Uncle Albert's for Christmas, and no one keeps Christmas better than Uncle Albert. They all promise to meet at Victoria Station to see Jan and Frieda off at half past seven in the morning, the middle of the night to me, says Hob. Two minute crossword clues across one not front two where the Irish live three when the skies are blue the weather is down one meat from an ox two farmers grow it in the field three halfway up your leg Dear friends, thank you very much for your support, for watching and for liking. I wish you success in learning English. Subscribe to our channel, and good luck.